Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just spent a half an hour, I've never done that before, I never felt led to do it, reading the book of Revelations, chapter 13 to 19. Well, this is what I have to say about that. This is Pat's Two Cents. These are the last days, and God told me, he put in my head the seven plagues. That's what I heard. And when I saw the seven plagues, I looked it up, I researched it, I prayed about it, and it sounds like God is saying it has begun. I don't know how soon it's going to be before we see who the beast is, who the Antichrist is. But I beg you guys, do not take the mark. If you think it's the mark, if you're not sure, don't take it. Please don't take it. We're moving into that time period where we go through part of the, of the tribulation and the saints have to hold on to their faith. Saints, keep your faith. Keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Stay prayerful. Stay close to God. Do not waver. Do not compromise. This is not the time. Please, the warning is going out right now. The angels of the seven plagues are getting ready to pour out God's wrath. Do not take the mark of the beast. Do not be deceived by the false miracles. Remember what's going to come, the false miracles. The, uh, just be very careful. The mark on the forehead, on the, on the wrist, the hand, whatever, wherever it's supposed to go. Be very careful. Ask God to give you discerning, discernment of spirits because the devils are being released left and right. It's going crazy now. Please be very careful. It scared me. When God told me to read about the seven plagues, it really scared me because in my mind, I'm saying, oh God, are you getting ready to start it right now? <sighs> this is not time to half step with God, you guys. You have got to keep your gowns white. You have got to keep yourself righteous. You can't play under the sheets with your lovers anymore. You can't compromise with lies and cheating and games and conniving and underhanded agendas that put people at risk. You cannot mess over God's people and you cannot live a life that gets rich off of the blood of the saints. And those of you who count yourself saved, I challenge you, wash your robes. Now is the time. Now is the time. Get it right with God now. Repent. That was the problem in Revelations. They kept saying, no matter what God poured out, they refuse to repent. They blaspheme God that much more. Please don't do that. Please don't be a fool. Not now. In the name of Jesus, I adjure you. Give your heart to the Lord and present your bodies a living sacrifice. Commit your lives, your, your, your well-being, your business, your families, your finances, everything, your choices, your decisions. I mean, you have to almost, you have to ask God at every move, every turn. All you, you, you have to acknowledge him in all your ways now. Some people you do not need to date right now. Some of you need to break up these relationships where you're feeling all over each other and you're tipping off into the bedroom and then you're going to church on the weekend. You got to stop it. When God turns you over to a reprobate mind, baby, you are a sitting duck for the enemy and his tricks. Please. Please. May God have mercy on all of us. 
as we enter into this new season. 